Hi everyone and a very happy May to you, the month of bank holidays which means we get more days to garden. So I'm here in the Rhino greenhouse and things are springing to life, all the seedlings are looking amazing, I'm starting to you know thin out, prick out, pot on and I'm even hardening off so I have some plants outside that are now hardening off like my sweet peas, uh, I've got some ranunculus and my dahlias as well, which have really shot up super fast over this last week. I really want to show you something that's kind of really taken off over the last few years, and that's the loofah, uh, mainly loofah cylindrica. Uh, it's actually from the Kirkubit family. So you can see these are my uh, loofah seedlings. Well, they're young plants now, for sure, looking really, really great. Um, and you can see that they look very, very similar to these are my courgettes. So you can see they're, they're from that same family as like melons, uh, cucumbers, courgettes, uh, squashes basically. And uh, loofah do not come from the sea. Now I know when you think of a loofah, you know, that you scrub your back with in the shower, um, it does look like it comes from the ocean, right? And very often they're marketed, uh, so you'll see photographs of the loofah um, in, in its mature state as that fibrous kind of tissue sponge with kind of ocean shells and things because it looks like it comes from the sea but it is indeed a plant and over the last few years um, the, it's taken off mainly because of social media and so many more people are trying to grow loofah. Uh, loofah or luffer, there's different ways of spelling it and saying it. Once you get them germinated as long as they're kept mainly under cover, I would say, unless you are growing somewhere that's really warm for a good 152 to 200 days a year, growing them inside is ideal. So if you have a polytunnel or perhaps a greenhouse. So my plan for my loofah plants this year is to put them into a grow bed inside the rhino greenhouse and I'm going to tie them up to grow over the top of the greenhouse which means the loofah will, will hang down, so they're like cylindrical shape, and you leave them until they're mature and the skin goes a bra yellowish brownish and you can kind of peel or pick it away. And inside you have that amazing fibrous tissue, which you can then clean your kitchen with, or you can, of course, clean yourself with. So it's really good at getting rid of dirt, but it's not abrasive, which is why it's so special. So there's many different ways of getting your seeds to germinate. A lot of people actually put them into like a sandwich bag on a damp tissue and let them germinate uh, before they plant the seeds. But I actually leave mine and I wait until April mainly, and then I sow them about one and a half to two centimeters deep in soil. I leave them in the greenhouse and also I might cover them over, uh, perhaps with a sandwich bag, or you can put them into a plastic box, like a storage box, but it does need a little bit of air as well. But they, you want to keep them quite warm. Um, just think that they grow in in warm environments and to germinate they need between about 25 to 30 degrees temperature so that's quite warm uh, so hence why on a nice warm windowsill can be ideal or indeed in the greenhouse but also covered over when it's still cooler in springtime so just as with you know cucumbers or very fast growing vines that's exactly what these will do and they will need support so they can grow really well up a sunny wall uh, as long as they've got something in order to grow up like a trellis for example or a pergola or you know an arch something like that if they're growing on an arch and uh, the fruits hang down it just looks absolutely exquisite which is my plan to get them to do that here in the greenhouse this year so you want to keep the compost they're growing in moist but not too over watered at all and you will find that the tiny little yellow flowers will appear really fast just the same as kind of the yellow color of courgettes cucumbers that's what you'll look for and the fruits will then start to develop so my job for today is to separate these plants and pot them on into individual pots um, and then once they're a bit bigger, I'll move them into their grow bed. But that's one for you to try. Lufa, you can buy seeds um, online. They are readily available now because uh, they've just taken off mainly because of social media. But also you can buy plug plants. So if you would like to have a go at them, you know, but you haven't been able to sow seeds yet this year, there's nothing wrong with growing by plug plant at all. So try some plug plants or, you know, if you know somebody that's growing some and they've got a few too many, perhaps they would like to do a plant swap with you. 
So with May being such a busy time in the garden, I'm now gonna get on with potting on my loofah plants and I hope you have a really wonderful no-mo May. <laughs> 